Hey guys, Valerie King here, your favorite Connecticut realtor and one of the admins for the Home and CT Facebook page. So I'm here for our fourth and final video for our home buyer mini series. And today I wanted to talk about some expenses that buyers are not aware of that they're going to have before you even close on your first home or your next home, right? Um, you know, we talk about the down payment uh, money that you need. We talk about closing costs, money that you need, you know, and those are costs that are going to depend on the uh, purchase price amount and what lender you use, the, the what loan you use, right? Some, but there are some fixed costs that I want you guys to be aware of so that you can prepare and save for that as well, right? Um, one of the first costs that you're gonna have is your earnest money deposit. Right, you put in an offer, you get it accepted, you're all excited, and um, even for those that are um, buying with 100% financing, the seller's going to be looking for something to say that we're serious to move forward, and that if you decide to walk away outside of contract terms, that they have some kind of a protection. Right, so typically here in Connecticut. The um, earnest money deposit could be anywhere from one to 5% of the um, purchase price, right? And it's depending on how really strong you're trying to make your offer and kind of how much competition there is, right? So if you're buying a house for 200,000, you're gonna be expected to put a $2,000 earnest money deposit. Now mind you, that will count towards your actual down payment. So it's not extra money, right? Um, but it's going to be taken in, within the first three days of you getting an accepted offer. So just be prepared, all right? Um, so now you've gotten your, your money, earnest money deposit in, in escrow, right? Now you're moving towards the purchase and all the due diligence processes of it. The first due diligence um, exercise that you're going to do is get an inspection. Guys, please get an inspection, all right? You need to know what's going on with the house. And your inspection, depending on what you inspect, what you decide to inspect, can cost anywhere from $350 to $1,000. If you guys have a septic or a well in that house, just know that those are all additional costs. You know, um, if you're gonna be checking for radon, if you're gonna be checking for lead, all of those are different um, expenses that can add up in the inspection. So just be prepared that there is that cost. The next is an appraisal, right? You're gonna be um, you know, getting an application with the bank. The bank's gonna wanna make sure that the property's worth what you wanna pay for, right? If it's worth, you wanna pay 200,000, you wanna make sure that it's not worth 150, right? So you're gonna pay for an appraisal, and that, again, could be anywhere from 500 to $700 or more, depending on the size of the property, right? So that's another upfront cost that I want you guys to be aware of. Um, the next is home insurance. A lot of buyers don't realize you have to pay for your first year of home insurance upfront most of the time, right? And you're gonna shop around for it, right? So if you're talking about a regular single family home, typically you're gonna be between the $800 to $1,200 range, right? Anything um, different, a Condo is going to be more like renter's insurance, so it'll be three to five hundred. Multifamily is going to be more because it's bigger, so that may be anywhere from fifteen hundred to two thousand, right? So, and God forbid that there's flood insurance there too, so you might be looking at a, a couple of um, thousand dollars on top of that too. So, be prepared, be aware that home insurance is another upfront cost that you would have to will likely have to take on. Um, the last upfront cost that you may want to look at and you may have to pay for is title insurance. Now, a lot of times title insurance is part of your closing costs, guys, but if you get a title search and you do not buy this property, um, oftentimes attorneys will still send you that bill because the title search is a, um, is a cost to you. Um, and that will depend on the attorney that you use. So just be prepared. You could be looking at an extra thousand to two thousand and maybe a little bit more on upfront costs to buy your house before you even close. So save, save, save and save. All right. 
Um, if you guys have more questions, please PM me and um, we can set up a consultation or come to my home buyer seminar. It's going to be this Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Milford Library. Um, so hope to see you there and talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.